recording. Hi, uh, John here. It's Tuesday, 27th of July 2016. Back in Auckland now and just uh, putting a few things together for our project. Uh, I'm just going to ring my friend down the line. Hey, um, did you find out for the Marae or not? Or? Oh, okay, okay. I'll just uh, uh, try and organise something up this end. And, um, yeah, just check up with you, that's all. Uh, what's that? This afternoon? Oh, okay, mate. How's things over there? Oh, okay. Still blowing around? Still blowing the wind? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope the weather's all right when I come down there, because I'd love to have a swim. Those rocks look inviting. I could just stare, I could just stare at them. That's about all, because it was cold. <laughs> I didn't have my gear anyway. I just thought I'd, I'd go down, because I, I went on the mana bus, and I don't want to lug all my stuff. I'll come down on my car next time, then I can put all my gear in, and my drone, I want to try my drone now too, <laughs> it'd be handy for around the place, uh, you know that bloody, um, uh, where I was saying for that quarry thing, that's that hill on the other side, um, 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 <coughs> that fellow, uh, what's his name, um, um, Kerry, Kerry Hudson, he's the uh, soil guy that went to the meeting. Um, yeah, so he's he's sending me some stuff in land care just to see what type of material is. If it's all right for cement, it would be bloody good, mate. For for walls, you know, walls and retaining walls and and I'm just getting all the steel. I've been looking last night online for steel, uh, lots of steel uh, boxing and all that for posts and everything. Fuck, it's quicker to make those things for, for fences, man. Uh, you know, around the place, and it's good for walls to make buildings. Quick, man. You watch, you watch when I put it up with a digger. You put, put the whole uh, thing together, put all the frames together, weld them up, and then just spread it with the digger. Uh, and you, and those buckets, oh, it's quite must be expensive, I think, about 80 grand, 60 grand for the, the bucket on the front of the digger, and it's got a, the thing that crunches all the... There's a crusher inside the bucket, and it crushes all of it. You could just go dig in the hill and crush it at the same time, and it comes out all, all the Then you get this liquid enzyme stuff, and mix it, mix it together, and it goes hard like concrete, like um, uh, what you call it, um, um, under thing, you know, like uh, stabilizer. That's what they use on the road, stabilizer in the, in the Africa and all that place. They don't have car seals; they just have that stuff to make the road. You know, you can just go along with a digger and just lift, dig it and up and drop it and then seal it. Seal it with that stuff so that you don't have to bloody your metal. You just go along the, along the track and make the new track. You know, make a track so the truck can get up, up the hill. Uh, and, you know, with a bit of scraping around with the right gear. But I just have to try and organize, uh, get, uh, get the funding going to get some machines, mate, and a bit, bit of work around, uh, for us anyway, you know. Uh, and my boy's all, all good for, for diving. He, he, he goes jump in the deep with the, with the bottle. Uh, I'll take my bottle anyway, but you've got some bottles. But, uh, I don't like running out of bottles. <laughs> my brother was like that, we, Willie. He got bottles all over the place, mate. Uh, but that's us, mate, in the water. Uh, I can't wait to get in there and go and have a look. Uh, but those, uh, that Papa Rock stuff is good for making, um, what you call it, like, um, um, 
pre, uh, precast slabs for, for the power stick to. That's what I'm going to use in, in the sea so that you can just lift them up like a honeybee and very, you know, uh, cultivate the power stick on them. That's what I want to do with that big hill, just back it down, you know, uh, dig into the bay thing and flatten them down. But it's a, a lot of work there for a long time. Uh, but that's the idea, that, that'll, that'll, that'll do everything for us uh, and quick to put, put things together. Uh, we've got a good machine, good machine, I'll source all the machines and all the trucks and everything. I've got a big load over, a big, big, great big one, and a 30 tonner, uh, bigger. Uh, I'll organise all that for there and uh, scrap around, mate. And that's little toys for hobbies, mate. No, I'm not going to run out. <laughs> They have something to do all the time. You never get bored, mate. I never get bored over there. Uh, no, I've, I've just been planning for a long time. I just, uh, I just can't wait to get there. But, uh, but the marae is most important there, and 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 the marae up north, so that they can kick John Key out of the way. And uh, but that's that political stuff. I, I just jump in and jump out and go and do my own bloody thing uh, with the engineering stuff. Uh, that. Anyway, mate, that's all I rang for. Just let me know, and then I can advertise to those owners, and so we'll see who turns up, and because they've got a say in what I I propose to do there. But I, I I just want to get a clearance to do it. That's all, and um, uh, for the locals, it's good be good for everybody anyway. I, you know, just just get on with it and do something. Hey, right? okay. Now that the the, the hitting a ten. The uh, Tumu Tumu is gonna, gonna uh, the, the lease gonna run out, so I'll try and get that one where that quarry is. Oh, I'll call it a quarry, but I'm just the potential there to fall that erosion place. You know, you just dig into the bloody place. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll go through all those things when, I, when I'm there anyway. Plenty of time. But the houses, I'm, like, I'm gonna bang one together with the steel, and you just dig the hill out and chuck the thing in the hill. In the side, all steel, put the post steel in, in the ground and then hold up, hold the hill together. Okay, mate? Okay, we'll go we'll catch you later, let me know. Okay, have a good day, mate. Bye. Hello, hello to the family. Bye. There, that's my mate, Dick Carlson. We're going to get stuck in the hill. We're going to get stuck in the hill and dig, dig, dig. Uh, and lots of work. I love to put all those uh, construction together. I spent a lot of time online uh, sorting steel out. I did this in 2005. Steel, ships, machines, diggers, uh, all sorts um, that can just go straight in there and bang away. Uh, that's my own profession is engineering and heavy machinery, ships and diving, scuba diving. Uh, and the bottle over here, you can see the bottle over here, ready to go, it's all tested. And I just get my uh, lung, I strip it myself and put new gears in myself and make sure I'm the one fixing it, nobody else. Um, so uh, uh, then we can uh, get uh, the tidal energy going at um, Brantley Bank. We're going to put that through the Marae and um, um, make sure we get uh, consents uh, true, cost it all up. I've been costing a house up, steel house, steel concrete, and um, that's going to be very quick to put those together. Um, so lots of ideas and plans um, for uh, East Cape, for um, Port Awanui. I'd love to put the village back together, uh, Port Awanui Township, one day. Uh, is the um, have those English people and all those families back there and the Spanish in their village and their little pub house pub with uh, new ones but replicas of what it looked like then and some bit more modern stuff there so we hope to have the hydrogen up and running for fuel uh, have a completely wireless uh, township and satellites and everything going there, very modern and electric. My vision is to have 
completely electric vehicles uh, and also electric um, hydrogen heavy machinery uh, run on hydrogen uh, fuel. We'll be, be providing it from Ranfilly Bank and uh, uh, under the water uh, by drone um, tanks back to the shore and that's not going to be a problem uh, with uh, a lot of these young people going to train up. We're going to have a training centre there on hitting an A12 block for people watching their video. I've got my, my camera is a, a bit noisy uh, and it's the light um, that's a problem with it but uh, I want to um, sort it out and, and stick to this tablet with a better picture uh, to make uh, it quite clear what I'm explaining about um, uh, our Moai Tidal Energy project. Uh, we're hoping as soon as we get on the land um, we'll be clearing around with Desmond, um, my nephew. Hopefully he, he will uh, get to know people around in the area of Port Awanui. New people watching this video. I just spoke to Dick Carlson. Uh, he's a friend of mine at Pakistani High School. In the old days we stayed at the David Hogg Memorial Hostel in 19 Henemore Street. Um, so um, he's going to be working alongside me and the locals there, the, the, the guys that are in Rangitukia. Uh, we'll be working closely beside them, uh, Tamaki Reed and uh, Rawataka. Uh, and a few others um, uh, there and that place we want the military to come straight in there, the British military watching this video. We want you, you're required to come into um, our area of East Cape in Rangitukion Haho 7B block and fix the river and build debt charge John Key and his colonial Queen's Bench Court government in Wellington and our own British, UK, Westminster government and Moai, Crown, King William uh, Fourth Trust uh, and King William the Third Trust um, here in contract with you to come here and look after the Pacific Ocean with us before John Key gets in and spoils everything. He's trying to do that with Obama at the moment. Um, Donald Trump will take care of that, hopefully he'll be the president and fix up all that problem going on up there while we get ready to um, come to Westminster. I'm preparing to go there soon but I want to get our projects going before Christmas. Um, September we'll be going on to the getting an A12 block, hopefully that this video to you. We have a hui uh, meeting on the 12th of um, August 2016 until I get confirmation from the Marae. It's been a couple of days or so now. Um, the days are getting less for notice. I need to get confirmation of the Marae uh, to put the hui on, um, meeting that is, uh, for the local people and also um, any, uh, it's open to public on that day, Friday, or the Saturday, the Friday is the 12th of August 2016, and um, the, the first part of the morning from 10 o'clock uh, to 12 o'clock um, before lunch, we will have a local um, community meeting, and I will explain the agenda, will be on Facebook, my Facebook, it will be on my Website moaipowerhouse.com, M O A I P O W E R H O U S E dot C O M, moaipowerhouse.com. You'll see the shared system there, and I'll put the agenda, agenda there as well. So, we're going to be talking about that, how that fits in with the uh, area and the CD uh, titles that we've put together uh, and always been there with. Um, the Nadi Pro region, but we're going to go into our own British titles um, to Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, straight to Britain uh, because of the change in the system of government there with the split off of EU Parliament from 
Britain, UK. At the moment, we're going in with England, Wales, and um, New Zealand, Aotea, New Zealand, and we're hoping that America will come in when they get rid of Hillary Clinton and all those Obama lot and fix up America. It's just a big mess now, and right around the world is a mess with the Queen running that lot. We've got the King running this lot to straighten out things straight to Westminster and clean that lot out take all of her lot out and fix up that there too in the economy to get us back on track with this trade flag here of the King of Britain, UK and Maui Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth Government of the World, this flag, the four star, the eight stars, the four corners of the earth, that's our authority and jurisdiction of Admiralty in the sea, the laws of the sea and the land laws of England, that's our legacy that is our continuity of sovereignty over 182 years of British and native links in banking, power note and trade and commerce um, in free passage through the world in 250 countries. So that's that. I want to go there as the ambassador of Aotea New Zealand Pacific Islands and <coughs> represent uh, the native people of the world under this flag. Um, they have the same pattern as us, the indigenous people in Africa, um, um, in India, uh, America, Canada, Australia, um, and so forth, uh, countries in New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Uh, so all of that comes under this flag and what I'm doing here, talk to you at what we're just about to launch off on our project with Dick, my good mate, he'll be there supervising, uh, I guess, the machinery and the shipping and, um, and I'll be doing the other end in England. So we'll have a few things to talk about. We'll talk about the block, the Hearing A12 block development of training centre and an airstrip up the top, the port for planes to come straight in from Auckland, I can fly straight there, and um, uh, dignitaries or whatever, um, council or whatever, can come from Gisborne, can just fly straight in their provisions, mail, um, and so forth. Uh, and also, I want the divers um, to be living there in the, in the um, units we're going to put up, uh, uh, units, I'm going to teach Desmond how to do them. I'm going to put the first one together. I'm just doing all the steel and concrete and everything now. Um, when we go down, we'll put that first one up and then it'll be <coughs> <coughs> from then on <coughs> we'll, we will uh, start to develop things. So, um, I just want to say uh, that in the first part of the morning on the hui, on the 12th, Friday, um, I'm hoping that on a Friday, because the council can come in their working hours, and anybody else working in, um, in uh, the Crown system, um, and Crown agents, they can come to the meeting if they want, uh, but that's really a koha for anybody coming there. We'll have a box on the table like I normally do, uh, who is with a slot on top, you just put your koha on the top uh, as contribution to expenses on the Malai. Normally in Auckland and up north, um, they charge you uh, for the high of the marae, and I think it went away from uh, the protocols of the marae and into commercial um, uh, way of doing things, just not, not the tikanga way of doing things. So on our marae at uh, Port Awanui, it's uh, Dix Tommy to Koha, so that's the traditional way of doing um, Marae meetings in family and uh, whatnot. Uh, so we'll get used to that system and to make sure that people coming there <coughs> come there to contribute towards the information that we give and to share uh, in the resources, natural resources, and with the management of such. Uh, we want to have a good measure of control of our resources. This is what's been missing from the hapu having no control 
And what I'm proposing to do is to introduce the hapū as being manager of their own lands and their original owners having a say. I have never been on any of my 30 blocks of land, some of them big blocks, as one of the owners. I've never ever been on it with a project. I've always been shoved off with trustees who are not even the owners of the land that we are the original owners of. So those, we're going to clear that up with the council to tell them who we are and how we propose to manage um, uh, our land ourselves <coughs> in strict accordance with rules uh, of our own uh, straight to Britain and rules here to comply but when it comes to the cost they owe us we just build them and offset the costs against any resource consents with what the Crown Government Wellington owes us the King's Bench Court <coughs> so you got a hefty bill uh, coming for fixing the river, fixing the hill, the erosions, all the erosions there is going to pay for our machines in lieu of us ordering machines and everything. They're going to pay for it. Uh, that's the rules. I'm putting that down, setting that down on that marae in the morning of how we propose to administer our own affairs from that marae uh, and from the top of the hill corporate side of business for that marae is up the hill, up the top, <coughs> on that block. <coughs> now, I'm taking over the lease on the 1st of October 2016, and also I'm hoping that the owners of getting a 10 block will uh, let us lease that as well. So the Te Tumutumu Paerua has put in, uh, a, a note to me that they're considering that. We can take over that block and fix up the erosion. The erosion is the part that is expensive to fix. And the poor old farmers, uh, Richard and, and Leslie, wear the bill of planting trees to uh, reversion of those um, parts that are eroded. And <coughs> um, they bear the, that inside their lease. And so if I took that bit away and let them carry on with grazing for now until we can have uh, some use for the rest of the land, it's the usable part that the cows can still use, uh, but although I want dairy cows more so than beef, or half and half, uh, on the land and the sheep as well, uh, so that's their business, we keep it going, uh, we just carve off what we need and uh, fix the roads and make it um, more um, usable for trucks to get around up there to put the buildings up and to start fashioning the land block to use. Okay, so that's the part in the morning, that, and um, what we're proposing to do at Waitangi uh, with Kingi Taurua, Chief Kingi Taurua and the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court <coughs> and, of course, re recovering their lands in Cook Street in the city, Auckland, uh, recovering that land as well, and develop that land. With, I'm going back into construction, development, steel, construction, concreting, and that's my original trade with mechanics and heavy machinery, <coughs> um, mechanics and oil rigs. So we're not going into oil rigs, we're, we're going to try and keep that out of the um, area, uh, um, unless we've got some say in anything of the resources out there, and especially the fisheries. We're going to monitor the fisheries right out um, with drones and fast boat. Uh, so those things I'll, I'll be working with the local younger guys, uh, and I think they're keen to do that as well. We'll be talking about that, right? especially the marine and the tidal turbines in the uh, Rantrilly Bank, uh, we're going to put those there, no doubt about it, I've been too long on it, it's not going to change. Plans going ahead to extract the power of the sea tides for hydrogen jet fuel to run our equipment and aircraft. Okay, so that's that part of the morning and then we go into the landowners meeting for having a 12 block for this notice on this uh, video to you. 
then I'll be explaining all of this to you and to get your ideas and what you think about it and um, um, proposals or none at all or let us consent to go ahead. I want to cut out the top block of, of the hill, the usable part for buildings and also airport, <coughs> proposed airport and we'll build that ourselves and also um, building for uh, office uh, for the Moai Powerhouse Total Energy Project on Ranfley Bay. Put that right at the top and also housing. I want some cutout, freehold, um, back to us, uh, the family <coughs> and other parts of the block uh, that um, uh, will be used for gardens and um, other things we can start making some income and shares for ourselves be worth something than nothing. Uh, so we do have shares in the tidal energy as well, uh, right through the well. So we're not limited to there, we are global with this flag. Okay, it's going to send us right around the world trading and that's what I'm trying to tell <coughs> uh, the Britain that this flag will send them around the world straight off um, with the King. Okay, King William IV, King William III, King George III um, the father of those two. That's, that's our legacy and that's our authority and jurisdiction, Constitution 1835, this flag. Alright? And the bound note, Levy Debtor instrument, is in this our own currency, our own flag to go around the world, and our own kings, three kings. Okay? And one more king, the real king, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, living in London. Okay? And his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus. He's about 38. This king is about 67, 68. Then it's me. So that's him for us in Britain. <coughs> and us the native. That's a contract. Private contract to Britain and those kings. Four kings. Four kings. Four stars in the corner of the flag. See? Four corners of the earth. Eight point star. St. Patrick's Church Order. That's the Irish Church Order. Okay? I'm Irish and Scottish and English and my and Maui, native, Tahitian, okay, and Rarotongan, right, dead, that's it. <coughs> we will put our uh, A, heading A12 landowners meeting together um, uh, on about after lunch time, about one o'clock uh, to two o'clock, and then we'll have the heading A10 meeting, two o'clock to three o'clock, <coughs> and then we'll have Port of Uraki, or close down. Uh, after that, we have another discussion of what just went through, and let people know the next move from there. Okay, we're doing political things there as well. Straight to Britain, we'll be administering our commercial contracts right to the world from there, through the whole of that area of region of Tarawhiti, uh boundary area. That's our political area. There's four regions, Te Tai Ra Fiji, Te Tai Tonga, South Island, Te Toho Uru, uh, that's Wanganui, Wanganui, and down that way, Newfoundland, and there. And then we've got Te Tai Tokoro up north. The four regions of a Moai Hapu political government of this flag and of the Commonwealth of the world in Britain, UK. Okay, that's our business to run our country this way for a change to get somewhere instead of nowhere and all this hoo-ha going on <coughs> at the moment with kids uh, running hungry and in the streets. Um, that's John Key's government. That, that's those people doing that and Hillary Clinton and Obama making wrecked countries, wrecking countries um, with the Pope. <coughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, then A10, we're the proposal for a quarry on that land is where the erosion is going into the sea. The hill is dropped into the sea. I'm figuring down, I'm looking at all the um, engineering reports that uh, that uh, type of soil is good for concrete. That's earth concrete homes. Earth steel concrete homes. Uh, the type of buildings we're putting up can go straight into the hill and steal straight into the hill, the whole hill up. And so we'll put them where the erosion is, put the house there. 
and hold the helm together with the uh, panels that we'll build there um, at the same time. I'm just discussing to um, deck the machinery that we're likely to get for that, make things quick. Uh, okay, so that's the meeting in the afternoon um, for the two land blocks that the owners turn up. Uh, if they if they can listen to the radio, you know, Nike Pro radio, and also um, the um, uh, local news uh, newspaper, Gisborne Herald, you notice in there. Uh, so that's about it for for now. For the meantime, other than that, we're um, carry on uh, planning things and uh, the days are going past now it's the 27th and it was the 12th uh, meeting so I might have to delay it I haven't made confirmation about the Marae as yet so uh, that could be a bit later than the 12th I'll make certain and I'll put the, make the, the right date for that hui um, um, sometime this week okay so that's, that's all for that. Um, the other thing, um, I'm just trying to think, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, um, um, no, there's not much else I wanted to talk about uh, on this video, at least, but to see if it comes out okay. Um, so for our crew, Desmond, um, um, he's following up pretty well um, and knows quite a bit about what I've been doing in the last five or so years. Uh, so he'll be looking after things in that area uh, and uh, we will get <coughs> uh, experienced builders, there'll be those type of people around in the area uh, but they'll be joining up as members, uh, those people coming to the, the meeting uh, we have the registration of uh, Maui uh, shareholders and how that works is it goes on to the mobile phone uh, on that powerhouse website, moapowerhouse.com website. You go on the front page, as soon as you open up, you see the flag of the 250 countries, because other people are registering shares in there too, straight to their land block, getting an A12 block. <coughs> so you just put your <coughs> name and, and details, most, most importantly, the, the mobile phone got an address go in there and um, name because your name will go on your mobile phone and credit or debit against the mobile phone when you work for us it goes on the phone and we pay you straight out from the phone or shares go straight into the phone uh, that's children as well so it doesn't matter if anybody can register anywhere in that world and it's their phone that will be the connection to take pay um, bank system, uh, which has more proved itself to be safe. It's that safe that you can transfer 100,000 straight off on the phone. One minute. In one minute you can transfer that much. That's, that's how safe it is um, from hacking. It's never been hacked yet, so that's all I can say. Uh, so, <coughs> um, we will, we will um, put the shares um, onto the agenda in the morning as well, um, <coughs> how they work briefly, I don't want to confuse anybody with too many things to talk about, so we'll try and contain things down to a minimum, so you've got a fair idea of a broad uh, view of um, how things are going to work, it's taken over 20 years for this to go, so it's not going to, I don't expect anybody to know it straight off, uh, but we are there as self-employed people on this mobile phone, you're more self-employed getting paid as uh, membership. So when we recover land that's been stolen or property that's been recovered from debts owed, and there's a lot of that going on right through the world, then that goes straight into credit on the phone. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. Um, unlike the system that John Key has, or the big crown system, with the fiat money that's fraudulent, and we're catching them out on Cook Street with that. <coughs> I'm going to ring my barrister today and see where he's at with um, uh, the policewoman, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. Um, I want to wrap that Cook Street up, seize it, lock them up, 
and get on with it. I want to develop that one the same time as the one at the East Coast and also Waitangi. Got some construction to go up there at the same time with the machinery we're going to use. <coughs> so people, that's what I'm talking about. We've got a new change coming and be prepared because one day your help might not be there at all from John Key's Crown when they get found out how crooked they are at playing around with fiat money and uh, merry-go-round inside their system. So we will see how they get on and how they respond to my court case in Auckland District Court. We're making the courthouse um, the Marae <coughs> and also we'll have a courthouse um, on the block. We'll have a courthouse on the block and a shop on the block and warehouse and fuel station with my certificates for gas, uh, petrol and uh, mechanics, uh, a great there at CDH garage in Tiki Tiki. By the way, uh, Highlands um, owned the land at the um, Port Awanui Township. I uh, want to see them and uh, rebuild that land as the same old village. Okay, I want it looking sparkling new again. And that's part of the community development and constructing the families back in its place. Plenty of space for everyone. There's no need to try and take things for yourself. I'm not there to help myself. I'm there to make something work. That's our motto, make it work. <coughs> and a combined effort. We need the numbers from the world with this flag of shares, my shares, my pound note, shares right through the world. The revenue that we get from Ford is one business. The revenue we get from the pound note is the interest on the pound note is 3.8% now here, the interest on the dollar. We've got a pound note that's about double the value of the, the New Zealand dollar. So on a par with British pound note. My pound note is going straight out as currency, electronic currency. Okay, there'll be a limited edition of pound notes. They'll be held and not used. They'll be all using other people's currencies converted on this tag pay float. That's how fast it's going to work. Okay, I've worked it all out. Someone's going to run the share system, I'll find somebody to contract as soon as we get this thing up and running. Then I'll get someone to run the share system, the bank, and accounting, and from the membership. Everybody who's a member gets the jobs first. So that pays to be a member of the My Powerhouse Group, London, the My Powerhouse One, at <coughs> Port Owenui. Number one being the first one to kick off the power project. Okay, so we got income from power, um, hydrogen, jet fuel, shares, and that we're going to pre-sell the ideas of the fuel to the big companies that be using it, and the aircraft, the passenger aircraft that'll be using that fuel in bulk. Uh, then we've got the power note. The power note. The, the interest rate's 3.8. I don't know what the interest rate is in London at the moment with their pound note, but if it's, say, 2%, then that's 20 billion straight off with one trillion pound note on each foot that's hit. That's what I'm saying. The Queen will wear the rest of the balance owned, or the Pope, or the Rothschild Bank will wear the balance of what that person has committed in their system for inside the King's Bench Court. Right, so we're using the King's Bench Court to get the Queen's Bench Court crown agents. Okay. Um, <coughs> so that's that's that part uh, can talk about till the cows come home. So um, plenty of things to happen this week. Uh, at the moment, you can see me putting equipment and um, 
materials on my Facebook. Those are just ideas that I normally have to construct things and to uh, find when I, I'm looking around. I'm all over the place with lots of different things on different sites. You'll notice that there's sites for uh, medicinal um, uh, <coughs> remedies, herbal remedies, and all of that. Natural stuff will be growing on our lands. And, um, and the hemp uh, and all that uh, marijuana stuff um, will be growing on our lands under our own patents. This is our own patents and copyrights. <coughs> the Monica will come under this patent and we've got the Monica people there uh, in that area, the Robert Akar and their group. He's been in it for years, many years, <coughs> in the honey. So they can look after that, but our main concern is the land, the seabed land, the, the dry land, and the wetland. Those are our own original ancestral inheritance titles. It's not John King's. He's foreign to <coughs> um, uh, his country, uh, up up in the west, the bad west, and well, deport him back there with uh, that other Simon Bridges. I just put that on this morning bad people operating TPP without our permission. So I'm going to come down hard on anybody breaking our laws of the King. And breaking our laws of the King, admiralty, court martial law, applies. Okay? Uh, so that's all for now. I'll get on with things and we'll catch you later. Have a nice day. Uh, it looks pretty good outside to me. Bye for now.